Hello, welcome to a GibbsCam demonstration from Midwest Cam Solutions. This demonstration is for plunge roughing. Uh, plunge roughing is a very fast way to, to roughing and removing stock. Well, we have a solid model here that we're going to plunge rough out. And this model has a, a, a solid that we're starting from. It's going to be a, a model of a square with a hole in it that was roughed out with a six inch diameter either um, it was water jet or, or plasma cut it out. It ends up being seven one quarter uh, when we're done with it. And we're using a big insert tool that is used for plunge roughing. Tools that are designed for it. The first uh, group of processes that we built was to plunge rough around the outside perimeter and uh, I'll turn CPR on here and you can watch how she's going to cut this. I'll slow it down so it's going to start plunging around the outside shape and it's intelligent to the stock condition from that stock body and it's going to work its way around and plunge the whole part out. Now the plunge roughing has its own tile and a machining pellet and the plunge rough has many strategies. For this strategy I'm using contour and uh, we're telling it to the depth. We have a side and forward step. We're just doing uphill going around. Uh, the tool is to the left and my offset amount which is a stock value how far I want to be away from the finished part. And the first tile that it built if I just select that and redraw this is where the stock would be at three inches. My next process is the same except it's at 275 offset of stock allowance. So if I click that and redraw, that one's going a little further in, it's going a little further in, and a little further in. So it's intelligence, uh, intelligent to the stock condition. And the little pull-off it's doing, if you notice the uh, there's a pull-off value, you can skip the, the pull-off in the first if you like. but the pull-off is going to be pulling off that part and it will pull off that part away from the stock as it works around the sh shape so the insert does not rub on the part when it retracts to reposition. And that plunge rests all around the, the perimeter and is a uh, much faster way in roughing that stock out versus side milling. We're running at a uh, 1300 RPM and 120, 128 inches per minute in the feed rate in the z-axis. Um, down the list here I have some other plunge roughing processes, operations. This one here is doing the inside hole and we're just contouring around taking multiple steps on it because of the stock condition it knows. Um, we're using a circle cutout and identifying where to start and end. And these are the edges of the tools where I want to start and end. So it's going to take several cuts, side cutting at a quarter inch in for each pass. Um, and this operation 14 in the operation summary takes roughly 5 minutes and 26 seconds. I have an operation that was used to remove that stock, the old method. The old method is this Operation 22 I have here at the end, where we're just contouring with the tool. We have our speeds and feeds. We're running at a 320 and a 5,000 chip load per tooth in little quarter inch steps. And the operation cut time for the old method was 32 minutes, and the new method is 5 minutes 26 seconds. It's a 83.58 percentage savings. Um, you know, five minutes versus 30 minutes. Um, the time that it used to plunge up the outside versus milling it was hours in difference. So the plunge rough is probably the fastest way you can remove stock today. This is the inside where we're going back and forth with those two circular um, circles identified and it's just plunge roughing that out. It just takes five minutes to plunge that all out of there versus a 32 minute for cutting. We also have a plunge rough cycle here where we're plunging the sides of these molded areas 
let me deselect that so you can see it, these molded areas here. And the uh, uh, plunge rough for these areas, the strategy we're using is called guide curves, where we actually have two curves that we selected to guide the plunging between it. And we're going uphill so it starts at the bottom and goes up, not impinging the tool. And then we also have one for the other side doing the same thing. And you tell it the first direction that the cutting direction is going, and this determines how to pull off the tool so it does not rub on the part for all the other plunges and whatnot. So plunge roughing is definitely a, a big time saver. Um, it is standard in Gibbs Camp. You do have to have the 3D module. It is kind of like a mold making uh, uh, type feature, but uh, it is standard in the 3D system from Gibbs Camp. And plunge roughing will save you gobs of time. And it's ready to go. So if you do have the 3D Gibbs Camp, give it a try, and I think you'll really like the, uh, the new plunge roughing. But other than that, uh, this kind of concludes a little presentation for plunge rough. Thank you, and have a great day.